this is a vlog for my cinema final I'm doing it on Bartholomew's song the short film is about 10 minutes long um, is a dystopian film that follows a character Bartholomew through his pretty much breaking of the condition this that is their world because he um, is in a world where it's very not hopeful their main goal is to make this little uh, doorstop and Bartholomew learns how to sing Ave Maria and f uses that music to break through um, through this conditioned programmed world some of the money and technical things about this film um, the film costed a very low two thousand five hundred dollars which compared to a lot of other films it's like nothing um, and it's only ten minutes in length but that didn't stop the directors from making a very impactful with a film with a very unique message. And then W. Irvine um, in an article points out, just as with the short running time, it seems that the low budget wasn't a limitation for the filmmakers at all, um, but it actually spurred inventiveness. Their feature dystopia isn't sleek and soulless as much as flimsy and soulless, um, a butch contrast from what a lot of people would think a dystopia is. Um, that kind of dystopia. Another thing is the cinematography of the film. So they focus a lot on colors and um, the entirety of the colors throughout the film are white with a green tint. Even with this one light that shows the defective cubes that they make, which you would think would be red, but it's actually like a green, which is random and weird, but it goes with their world. Um, and red is actually a very big color later on because there's, it's only seen two times in the film. The blood of the woman that he kills at the end. Another cool part of the cinematography was this entire movie is pretty much used with static shots and that's something um, a static shot is also cheaper and so that goes along with what um, Irvine was saying strengthens the di just disjointness of the entire film and it's not a natural uh, flow at all um, which also gives the impression that it's not a natural world. Another big thing that the directors wanted to focus on was sound. Ava Maria is the only song featured, um, which makes it a lot more impactful um, to Bartholomew because it's the only song that he's ever heard. There's nothing, there's no like background music or anything else besides that. Um, and so it kind of puts that song like in the forefront. And there's also a very minimal background noise um, and that kind of sets up the environment that's a very sterile um, controlled environment um, the only thing you really hear is like airflow which kind of makes it more industrial um, but even though there's no background noise there are a lot of sound effects that are very prevalent uh, whenever something is put down or sliced it's very loud and echoed um, but that shows a very empty environment that they live in. And then the only voice that's heard um, throughout the film is the woman coming from the speaker. And that's also echoed and it gives her a sense of power, which is maybe why Bartholomew thought that killing her would set him free, um, which ended up uh, making him a defective item and um, got him taken away. But in that uh, he did kill her and then sing his song through the speakers to the other um, Bartholomews, which made um, one Bartholomew at the very end look away from his work, um, which tells the audience that maybe he's going to try and break free too. And so it just wraps up the theme of uniqueness and free thinking is needed in a world, so it's not like Bartholomew's song.